So I think that the, the challenges really that are um, around in the creative industries, when one of them is one I've just been talking about, which is that of diversity. I think that it really is a richer creative future if we get all the stories being told, if we get all the talents into our creative industries rather than just say the most privileged or the people who've already got connections in the industries. We want to get the most talented people there uh, rather than just the best connected. Well, I was delighted with the recent BAFTA nominations because uh, we saw a lot of British talent being represented, uh, not just in, in our British Film Award for Outstanding British Film, but actually you can see um, British talent really around the world um, in the international film industry fueling uh, the, the films that come from other countries as well. So whether it's Ridley Scott behind The Martian, Sandy Powell, uh, you know, as well as a, as a costume designer. These are people who are giant figures on the international stage coming from Britain. Well, BAFTA supports uh, new filmmakers in, in British film generally in all sorts of ways. We have, of course, our awards, which reward excellence and make everybody, you know, in a sense, work that bit harder because the awards are so important to them and it can be life-changing to win one. But also at the other end of the spectrum, when people are trying to get into the industry, we have scholarship programs, mentoring programs. And then for those who are mid-career, we have lots of master classes from the experts in the business so that at every stage of people's careers, we're nurturing and supporting and developing them. Well, I think um, Hilary was a bit of a pioneer in being the first female chair of BAFTA. And, uh, and I'm the second. So in, in 68 years, I think it was about time there was another one. But I'm really delighted that my successor is also a woman, Jane Lush, who's going to be taking over after me. So maybe we've set a bit of a trend there. Yes, uh, the, the piece of art which um, I've really enjoyed um, is one by Enzo Mercedes, which is uh, behind me. And I, I love the juxtaposing of a very, very close up uh, of human skin with a landscape of mountain ranges. And actually, of course, those two things are totally different scales. One's a very wide shot, one is very close up. But actually, the parallels and the similarities between them, I think, are fascinating. And it really rewards a lot of looking at. So I thoroughly enjoyed it.